a spider crawls across a countertop, an early experiment in using virtual reality as a therapy for people with a common phobia. Fear of spiders and other phobias affect more than one in ten American adults. They have a fight or flight response. So they're, they, they get sweaty, their heart races. They avoid what they fear, sometimes going to extremes. Like Nick Harrell, who was working on his phobia of flying. I got, physically got on the plane to Paris and then got off it, or, and got off before it took off. Um, and I did that two days in a row. Today, virtual reality therapy can help. The technology is just now reaching the mainstream after 20 years of research. It uses a proven therapy called exposure therapy, gradually exposing a patient to their greatest fears. It puts me back in that place and afterwards I see like nothing terrible happened. It might have been uncomfortable, but um, I can handle it. A therapist can have a patient who's afraid of heights visit a tall building or imagine themselves there. With VR, patients learn to feel safe on a virtual high-rise balcony without leaving their therapist's office. This, um, this would have been simply impossible three months ago. Um, the, it would have been total avoidance. I, I wouldn't even have attempted this. Research shows VR can lead to gains in real life and is as effective as face-to-face -face exposure therapy. It is dramatic. Um, at the heart of fear of heights, people have these ideas that something bad is going to happen, that they're going to fall off, or the buildings collapse, or they're going to jump off. And what we do in the therapy is help people to learn that that won't happen around heights. So if you change those thoughts, it leads to changes in the real world. The change is extraordinary to see. People who wouldn't look at the heights, wouldn't go up to the heights, after just two hours of the VR treatment, uh, can boldly go up to the heights. Equipment is lighter and more affordable, with tech advances spilling over from the VR gaming industry. We've all been piggybacking on this technology that was initially developed for uh, video gaming. It's really uh, Christmas for VR researchers. Next could be VR therapy without a human therapist. Researchers are studying whether animated characters in VR worlds could be as effective as human counselors. Malcolm Ritter, Associated Press.